Welcome to a new episode of The Truth is Barrel Proof. I'm Jack Bigadu, also known as the Hood Sommelier. If you're here, thank you. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most, I would say, controversial distillery because everybody believes that they're the distillery for the taters, right? And when we use the word taters, Taters refer to people that actually only buy things that come from distilleries and also buy only things that are hyped up, hyped up in the sense that they're highly rated in the secondary market of buying bourbon or whiskeys around. And at the end, no one looks at those type of people don't look at anything affordable. They only want the the bottle for the prestige and the name behind it. So. What distillery am I talking about? Buffalo Trace. I don't believe Buffalo Trace get enough credit for their innovation in the market, right? Because of what happened in the market, all the things that people did around their bottle. People claim that they actually create scarcity, but I think it's more the people that create that scarcity around the product itself. As we talk about Buffalo Trace, one of the brands that Buffalo Trace have are owned by Sazerac is called Old Charter. And Old Charter is, yeah, Old Charter Oak, right? Old Charter. Old Charter Oak is one of those brands that is the innovation part of Buffalo Trace. What do I mean by that? That brand is mainly there uh, for them to play with a different type of oaks that are available there. So almost playing with the, what, what, let me back up. People always think that bourbon has to be aged in American oak, which is not true. It's just an oak container. So what old charter brand, Buffalo Trace is playing with a different type of oak. Previously they had French oak, Canadian oak, chickpea, yeah, chickpea oak. But their latest release, which is, again, a $69 bottle. Now, I don't know what that bottle is going to be on the market after people jump on it and go with it. This is a $69.99 bottle. It's their Spanish oak experiment. I love that people are trying different type of oak. Spanish oak is usually used more in single malt and scotch. But it's good to see Spanish oak played with when it comes to bourbon. Now, this is the latest release out of Buffalo Trace of their barrel age. This is 92 proof. Um, so not too not too strong either, not castrant, but it's part of their, their Spanish oak. One thing about Spanish oak is that it give a red hue, usually a very red hue to most whiskeys that you see them through, right? The very red hue. That's what you will see in Spanish oak. On the nose, yeah, Spanish oak is very particular. It smells oily. It smells, um, it usually smells pretty oily. And for me, like very strong, very, very strong cherry notes, right? Almost like sophisticating, uh, suffocating cherry note. That's how I feel on Spanish oak. So it's one of those things that if you're a very hard cherry fan, you will, you will love the nose. But particularly for me, the Spanish oak is too strong on the nose, but it's an experimental bottle. So for me, it's always something that needs to be tried to see. Yeah, very intense, oily. It, you see how you when you're changing, your, if you go walk into a mechanic and... There's that oil, that like that new oil, like dumping oil smell. That's what Spanish oak remind me of. But but when you look at the, the the bourbon itself, it makes it quite oily. The legs on this whiskey literally takes a while to come down. If you if you actually if you if you turn around and look at it, it takes a while to come down on it. See, legs take for almost forever to come down. Enough talk about it. Let's try it. OK. 
Okay. All right. This whiskey is interesting. That Spanish oak effect on the bourbon. Um, keep the sweetness of the bourbon right on the front. Give it a little edge. Oiliness really in your mouth, really. Very oily. A little, for me, it's like when you have those taffies, uh, cherry, like very little sourness of that taffy stays on the top of your, your mouth. That's what you get. Those intense cherry notes. You don't get a lot of those leather notes that you expect in or those, uh, what do you call it? Those, uh, those spice, baking spice and that. No, you get mild sweetness, which is a little bit of, you know, I, it, it should be brown sugar, but you get more of that cherry juice kind of sweetness and the finish is the finish kind of stops there's no finish to it you're more intoxicated by the cherry notes that is forward but nothing else after we'll give it another sip Uh, the truth is barrel proof. We pretty clear. How does a whiskey make me feel? Makes me feel it. This whiskey makes me feel indifferent. Really much so indifferent. Um, the other thing we ask on this on this podcast is, what would you pair this whiskey with? Honestly, if I had to pair this whiskey, because of the extent of the cherry note, a cheese platter, cheese platter. A charcuterie board, so salami and cheese, uh, some capers. That's what I will pair this whiskey with because that's where I believe it will shine and give some edge. But in an old fashioned or the typical bourbon drinker, would they love this? In my opinion, probably not. It's not every whiskey that get an A plus, usually in our book of business here. I I'm, I always keep honest with my reviews. I'm not one to actually edge a whiskey over another. Uh, for $69.99, will I be my first choice to buy? Personally, no. I believe there is better things that come or things that fall more on my palate that I like better out of Buffalo Trace than this one particularly. Uh, is the wood is definitely the type of oak, but I'm glad they're experimenting. I'm glad they're experimenting because somebody has to do it. Somebody has to fail at it for someone else to understand what can they do better about it. If you're here, thank you. My name is Jack Bigadu, also known as the Hood Sommelier. Thank you for being here. Make sure you follow me on every single channel and I will see you next time. Let me know in the comment if you had a chance to try any old charter oak or this specific old charter, the Spanish uh, oak experiment. Till next time, thank you and cheers.